Are you ready for this one? A quick test. Find out who you really are. Scarlett Johansson? Eh, probably not, but let's find out. Your body language and the dominant side of your brain can tell a lot about your personality. Are you ready to find out who you really are? Then let's give it a go. But first, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications to keep up with our updates. Let's start with a few simple tests to figure out which side of your brain wears the pants in the family. Do you like how we mix our metaphors here on Brightside? Give us a like! Anyway, you might want to grab a piece of paper and a pencil to jot down your answers. Determine your dominant eye. Does your right eye beat up your left eye? No, that's not what we're talking about here. Imagine there's a total cutie standing right in front of you. Now, wink at them. Which eye did you use to do it? Now, roll up your sheet of paper into a tube or make an imaginary spyglass with your hands. What can you see through there? Ah, it doesn't really matter. I just want you to put down which eye you use for this task. This next one's really cool. Put your arms out in front of yourself and use your index fingers and thumbs to make a triangle. Nope, it's gotta be smaller. Yeah. Bring your hands closer together so that your triangle is about the size of a coin. Find something in the room to focus on and look at it through the hole using both eyes. Then close your right eye. And now the left one. Did the view change? If it did when your left eye was closed, write down left. If it was different with your right eye shut, just put down right. Whichever eye was the answer in all or most of these questions is the more dominant of the two. Now let's determine your dominant ear. We'll now run two short tests to check your ears. Me now. No, that's not it. Do you have a watch nearby? Is it working? Better hold it up to one of your ears and listen carefully for ticking. Is your phone ringing? It's awfully quiet. Can you check it too using one ear? The ear you use for the tasks is your dominant one. And if you couldn't hear your watch ticking, it's probably because it's digital, dummy! No, no, don't worry about that. I did the same thing. Moving on. Determine your dominant leg. Let's see which of your legs is in charge here. Please stand up. Now, take a step forward. Which of your legs made the first move? Alright, sit back down, get comfortable, and cross your legs. Which one is on top? Now, a more thorough test. Stand up again and walk around the room. Hey, it's good exercise! Can you see which of your legs has a larger stride? You can try moving towards the same object in the room, only stepping with your right or left leg one by one. Which one gets you there faster? Again, your dominant leg is the one you choose in most or all of the tests. Alright, determine your dominant hand. Uh, could you do me a favor? Could you please pick up the object nearest to you? Yeah, that pencil you're using to write down your answers will do. Which hand did you use for the task? Now crumple a piece of paper up into a ball and throw it across the room as hard as you can. Let out your pent-up rage! Oh, you don't have any pent-up rage? It's okay. So which arm did you throw with? Finally, answer this simple question. Which hand do you write with? By the way, according to statistics, about 90% of the world's population is right-handed. Hit that like button if you're a fellow righty. As for the lefties out there, you should feel really special being in such an exclusive 10% group. Determine your dominant brain hemisphere. Alright, take a look at these three pictures and pick the one that you like the most. Don't overthink it, just go with the first one that caught your eye. If you liked option number one, the left side of your brain is more dominant. The circle is a shape we all know, and you subconsciously chose it for its familiarity. Familiarity. That's what I said, yeah. If option 2 appealed to you the most, then both halves of your brain are equally in charge. It's kind of a middle ground between the simplicity of the first picture and the craziness of the third. If you went for option number 3, your dominant brain hemisphere is definitely the right side. This image seems somewhat incomplete, which means there's still room left for your imagination. Your dominant brain hemisphere and your personality then you probably have a knack for expressing and reading emotions. 
you also have a vivid imagination, a strong intuition, and a love for music and creativity in general. The left side of your brain is responsible for critical thinking, logic, language skills, and reasoning. Left-brained people are also great with numbers. What your sitting position says about your personality. Are you sitting while watching this video? If not, could you sit down for a minute, please? It's for science. Now, according to psychologists, the way you sit can tell a lot about your personality. If you sit pigeon-toed, you're most likely a really popular person who knows how to have a good time. You're creative, outgoing, and somewhat childish, which makes you even more fun. You sometimes do things without thinking, but since you hate confrontation, you prefer to let people cool down a bit and then approach them again with your friendly smile on. Sitting with your legs crossed shows that you're a creative dreamer. You come up with new ideas easily, and you love big changes. You wait impatiently for next Monday, the first day of the month, or the new year as a good reason to start something new. People love to be around you. You might feel a little dissatisfied where you are right now, because you're always anticipating something bigger and better. If you sit with your legs wide apart and your heels drawn together, comfort means a lot to you. You can spend hours choosing the right perfume or the perfect outfit. Others might see your house as a chaotic pigsty, but you, in fact, have your own special way of knowing exactly where everything is. And that's true for other spheres of your life as well. You might find it hard to concentrate on just one topic because you have so many different interests and things to talk about. If you're sitting up straight with your feet on the floor and your shoulders back, you ooze self-confidence that screams, I'm ready to take over the world! <laughs> you hate being late and expect punctuality from others, too. You're smart and intelligent, but you usually avoid showing your feelings in public. People know they can trust you because you're approachable, direct, and ready to protect your loved ones no matter what. If you keep your feet together to one side in a truly royal fashion, it means that your career means a lot to you. You are persistent, ambitious, and independent. You're in no rush to get married and start your own family. Every decision you make is well thought over, just like your style and appearance. You're the epitome of a perfectionist and care deeply about what others think and say about you. What your fist says about you. How about, would you like mustard on that knuckle sandwich? No, I'm lying. It's something else. It's hard to believe, but the way you clench your hand into a fist also tells a lot about your character. So go ahead, think of something that really makes you mad, and make a fist right now. Which of these options resembles what you've got going on right now? If your thumb is out and lying on top like the first picture, then you're probably helping others because you're selfless and kind. You're not the most self-confident, though, so you tend to depend on other people's approval. You have a vivid imagination and find inspiration in adventure books. You're also a great team player. If your thumb is hidden in your fist, you have a lot of friends who love you for your good nature and creativity. Your self-esteem is quite high for all the right reasons. You're smart and hardworking. Who wouldn't be proud of that? <laughs> you gladly accept compliments and approval from others is really important to you too. Your biggest fear is ruining your career. Finally, if your thumb is out but across your fingers and pointing down, you're pretty emotional and like to reflect every now and then. You sometimes feel a bit unstable, since you'd rather live in your own fantasy world, which is obviously different from the reality that surrounds you. But it's okay. You find inspiration in art and trust your instincts and your big, kind heart. You also appreciate stability and calmness in relationships. So, do you agree with the descriptions you got? Let us know in the comment section. If you want more videos like this, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get your unlimited access to the bright side of life.